So here's a little demo I wanted to do of um, showing you how uh, Meteor, you can debug stuff with Meteor. So in this little example, I've just stopped it here. Let's just clear the screen. Um, let's run Meteor. And this is how the debugging you generally have to do. You'd have to have a lot of console log messages. So in this example, I have uh, this home page that says uh, click me. Uh, so if let's just clear all this rubbish. Uh, if I click me, you can see some um, objects. So uh, in Meteor, I've got a template handler here. So the events, when you click the button click, it logs the event and the template, which is what you're seeing here in the console, which is great. But then we can then call a Meteor event uh, on the server side. So this is this Meteor call button push, and I'm passing a message. Now it goes on to the server side. So now in the server side, I'm logging stuff. So each time I click here, you can actually see this button has been pushed. Uh, this is great, but I can't see anything else. If I want to find out if uh, what the this scope is, I'd have to change the code and console logged with this scope. What we want to do is actually debug stuff. And how you can do that is just by typing debugger, uh, saving that. It's now going to reload here, but we, we don't want it to reload. We want to run Meteor. Um, instead of running Meteor as we did before, we want to do Meteor debug. Once we start doing that, what it'll do is actually start running not just our application, but as you can see here, is has a debug process. So the debug process has started. Let me just go and visit that. So there we go. It always starts uh, in a debugged state. So we now run it, and now our application will actually start up. We'll see that in a second here. Uh, there we go. Our app has started again. So now what will happen is when I click here, we should we should get um, let's just reload it just in case. There we go. So there's application working. If I click me, we get what happens here. But now our debug has actually gone to the line, this kind of line five here, um, called with the debugger in it. And we can see uh, the local variables, which is uh, this message, the button has been pressed, which is this variable here. And you can see that this object, which I guess here would be uh, uh, Meteor itself and tells you whether there's a user ID or anything else. So this is a really great way to do server-side um, debugging with Meteor.